Good morning, YouTube family. Welcome to another video. After hard demand, everyone was asking, please do another eating vlog. We want to see you try some proper, traditional, local wachi and eat it in the banana leaves. So I thought, you know what? I absolutely love this food. This is my favorite food when I come to Ghana. It is my favorite food to eat when I'm here. So I said to my brother, let's actually get some. Let's have it for lunch. One of my subscribers actually hooked me up. They sent me a message and said, this is the best wachi you can get in the whole of Ghana. Send them a message. Tell them this is how you want it. Ask them for banana leaves. They will do it and they will come and even bring it to you. So I thought that is absolutely incredible. I am for sure doing that. So that, I wanted, that is exactly what I did. It's like a fully loaded one. It has absolutely everything it comes with. And they said you have to have it with avocado because avocado makes it taste just that much better. And then you also have to get it on the banana leaves and eat it with your hands. So that is what I'm going to be doing it today. I just got off the phone with them. They're going to start preparing it. They're going to bring it over in a couple hours when it's lunchtime. So I cannot wait. The place that I'm ending up getting the food from, what I was telling all you guys and yours about, is called Wachi All Day. They have an Instagram page, and this is no way sponsored, anything like this. It's just a subscriber that reached out to me, said you've got to try them out. And let's see if you guys could even see that. It looks absolutely incredible. It's in the banana leaves. Mm. I cannot wait. I'm just getting hungry with the thought of it and just looking at the pictures. So. Basically, they have their menu on there, they have highlights, it links you straight to their WhatsApp where you can chat with them. So for their menu, they have their mini, the standard, the mini loaded, and then the fully loaded. So the fully loaded, what I went with, and my brother went with, is the wachi, the egg, the wele, the meat, the fish, the plantain, and avocado. So all of that is 25 Ghanaian CDs, which I think is really good. It's obviously a lot more expensive than what you can get it on the street for, but because the subscriber reached out to me and said, please try this place out, it's the best you're gonna find in Ghana. I was like, you know what, let's give this place a try. So they should be at any minute now, and I cannot wait to just dig in and enjoy my favorite food. Secured the goods. The guy ended up getting really, really lost, but I don't think many people actually found I address when we put it down. Got some help from a friend. He actually managed to find it. Following protocols, get to take the mask off. And Clayton's behind the camera, like shaking <laughs> because he's so excited to eat it. And now it's nearly four o'clock in the afternoon, so it is a little bit late. We did wait quite long, but by the smell of it, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely delicious. So I'm going to break this open. I can already see banana leaves, which I hope it is. Let's dig in. Let's open this bad boy up. You can come get a closer look at the name. Watchy or day, the cell phone number, the Instagram handle. I'll put it all in the description. And let's open this together. See what it's like. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really hungry. I have very high expectations. I was told this is the best in Ghana. Oh, that does smell good. That smells really, really good. And there it is. Yes, please. In the banana leaf, look at that. Got some tissues, gonna sit down now and we're gonna dig in. This looks even better than I was anticipating it. The banana leaf it really really makes it look absolutely amazing the cats the animals are going crazy they smell it they love it i'm going to dig in now i said i'd eat it with my hands i'm going to stay true to that the only thing is i'm not too sure where to start let me know in the comment section where to start this is stuff i remember last time being extremely hot because i took a huge clump of it the one time and i think it's ground pepper and it was absolutely boiling hot so i'm not too sure how to do this i'm just going to throw some things together Give it a taste, let you all know. And it's one of those foods that I wish you could smell it, but you can smell it is going to be extremely hot. So let's give it first try. Mm. That is absolutely amazing. I must say it is extremely hot, extremely spicy, but 
And eating with your hands just makes it taste even better. I wish I'd started doing this earlier. I wish I could tell you in detail everything which is on here, which is which, but I'm actually not sure. This tastes like plantain, so I'm pretty sure that is that. Absolutely amazing. I love this food. I'm going to sit down, really dig into this, really enjoy it. And then when I'm finished, I'll give you all an in-depth review and what I thought of it. I thought I would give a midway review and just let you all know how this is tasting. I must say it's absolutely delicious. I had really high expectations because I love the one that I get from the street. This is also another local Ghanaian place. It is so delicious. The meat at first you think this is really tough but it's almost been like it's slow roasted. It just comes straight off. Absolutely delicious. These plantains I cannot, I've fallen in love with them. Since I've come to Ghana, I've absolutely fallen in love with these. They're almost like sweet potato, but they're so much nicer. And then there was some fish in here that I saw done. And then the meat, they also put nice, very fatty meats in here because the fatty meats are always the most juicy, have the most flavor. You got some noodles in here. And then I'm not too sure what this is, but it almost is like a type of a mix of beans. Really, really love it. But one thing I must say, this is extremely, extremely hot. Even though I uh, like try to distribute the, the pepper spices, you can probably see by my lips. My lips are burning red, but it tastes so good. And I'll let you know what it's like when I'm finished. I cannot eat this last bit. I'm so full. They, you saw the amount of food they gave us, so the amount of meat. I would say this is actually absolutely amazing with the amount of meat you give. They give you, but I must say, I'm battling to even concentrate right now and talk because my mouth is so hot. Some of my Ghanaian friends eat this like it's water. Like, they didn't even break a sweat. And I'm sitting here sweating profusely, my mouth's on fire. But it was absolutely delicious. I think next time, maybe I will distribute the, the, the ground pepper, what I presume it is, a little bit differently. But all in all, I really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, hit them up, make sure you order nice and early to make sure you get it on time. Absolutely love it. If there's any suggestions out there of some Ghanaian foods you think I should be trying it or I'll absolutely love, let me know and I'll for sure try it out. So smash that subscribe button so we can grow together, get better together and improve little by little every single day while spreading Ghana, while spreading Africa to the world. Cheers. I'm going to try and finish this last little bit.